Awesome. Hey, how are you? Good. How are you doing? Hanging in there. I mean, it's been a you know year. <laughs> um, it's been a year. And, and longer for you with with this journey, um, which I got to imagine is at this point just a relief above all else to be like, okay, this doesn't have to be all I, I think. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say a relief. I think it's listen. The the journey has been quite a journey. And yeah. even like after the, yes, you can do it. Then you're like, oh my goodness, I have to finish. Like, how do we get this done in, in the short amount of time it takes uh, to get done? It was an enormous undertaking. Um, I think, you know, honestly, COVID was a benefit for us because um, a lot of the vendors had, a lot of their movies had shut down. So there was all this capacity at the visual effects houses that normally you'd be waiting for, you wouldn't, you know, and um, that helped us. And, and I think it also helped us because it was something we could do in COVID. We could do this movie remotely. You know, we only did a, a three-day um, pickup shoot for an additional scene and one pickup that we did. Um, so the bulk of the work, you know, was, was all remote. Um, but it was still like quite an undertaking getting it done. And I think to answer your question, like maybe now it's just like, yeah. like an exhale, right. but um, I, I'm not, I, we're just happy that people get to finally see it. Right. Cause it's, it's uh, as, if, as, as much as anything else, I feel like it's gotta be satisfying because, you know, as a producer, you want to produce the vision of the director. And obviously, you know, when a director is also a partner in life, you know, you, you are fiercely, you know, protective. And when the initial experience doesn't feel that way, and, it, you know, if it was a game, you'd be like, I think we lost, to then be able to, to have it come around, one is pretty rare, but two, you know, is a good way to actually feel like I executed the job, like I was able to come <laughs> back and, and actually have the vision and good, bad, and different, like that's what we want people to experience more so than you know, what'll the least amount of people hate, which never works, no matter what the thing is. It never works when you try to like, please everyone. God knows I'm a single man. I know this. <laughs> no, listen, and I think people know when things are, you know, audiences are savvy enough to know when something is made by a committee or yeah. whether it's, you know, I mean, I think Zach always, you know, he has a point of view and it's a distinctive point of view. Um, and and listen, for me, yes, as a producer, it's my job to get the director's vision on the screen. And it was a difficult process for us. It was, you know, it's also just difficult. You know, it was the best thing and um, I have no regrets and we needed to do this for our family. We needed that time. You know, I think we were kidding ourselves and thought we could come back with the pressures of all of that. Um, coming back and, and, and listen, I think that at the time the, it needed to be shorter or funnier. These were the expectations of the yeah. studio and you know we had different expectations. So to be able to come back and have this vision fully realized um, in the way that Zach intended it, it's so, it's, it's fulfilling. It's really fulfilling. And I think also for everyone that worked on it, not just for us, yeah. you know, because we had journeys with everyone and and i think the visual effects house has got to put back the original designs for things they got to see this like there there was an enormous amount of bonding by the crew i think going through this this experience and um and i'm excited you know i think that i i feel like this version of the film which wouldn't exist i mean you couldn't this couldn't go in the theaters, a four hour version. I mean, we're not crazy people. So I think to have it on HBO Max, like, you know, the streaming services really have allowed, you know, much deeper content. Viewers are used to having things that are long and you can either binge watch it and watch the whole thing, or you can watch it in parts, you know, and make it more digestible. It really gives people the option. That wasn't really around when we were making the film. So I think having this opportunity where you actually, you know, to me, when you're telling a story about a group of these heroes and who they are and how they become the Justice League, it's more fulfilling when you really understand the characters and you understand their struggles and their arc. And I think that was something that wasn't really possible um, to do in a shorter version. Um, so, you know, I feel like now when you watch it, it feels like just 
deeper and more emotional at the end because you know where they've come from. Totally. And you can actually watch it, which I think is what most people are, are happy about at this point. I know we, we have to wrap, but I think that's something to be proud of is, is, you know, people wanted something you were able to deliver and you feel fulfilled also. It's not just, okay, we made, we gave th- something fans want. We were able to do something that, you know, me- meant something to us as a family. So congratulations on that. I know we have to wrap. Thank you. So it's a win-win hopefully exactly. for everybody. Very proud. <laughs> Thank you.